Professional Fortnite is among the newest wave of eSport titles introduced to the broader video game market. After the game blew up in early 2018, Epic Games quickly realized the best players in the world wanted a platform to compete for honor, glory, and that sweet, sweet cash. Fast forward to today where we look back at the largest event hosted in eSport history, the Fortnite World Cup. This event took place over one weekend where a total prize pool of just shy of 40 million US dollars was awarded. We come a long way during the past year, right? Well, through all these online and LAN events, some professional players such as Ninja, Tifu, and Mongrel have made waves and become some of the largest gaming influencers on the planet. In this video, however, we will not be going over these massively popular goats. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the dark side. Well, not actually the dark side, but the people who are so good at this game but don't get the same notoriety that the previously mentioned players get. What's good everybody, it's Dan, and in this video, we'll be counting down the top 5 most underrated Fortnite players. This means that unfortunately we won't be seeing many fan favorites on the list because, well, look at the title! The goal of this video is to shine some light where not enough people are paying attention. The players in this list deserve way more recognition than they currently get, so really keep an eye on them as we get into it. Also, don't forget to like the video and thanks so much for your support. But before that, if you're looking to take your gameplay to the next level, I recommend that you guys check out Instapro, where we have live 24-7 coaching from some of the best players in the game. Also, the Pro Pass now grants 5 free coaching sessions upon purchase, as well as all new in-depth analysis VODs. Head over to ProGuys.com right now. Trust me guys, you won't regret it. With all that said, let's get into the video. Kicking things off with number 5 on our list, Wolfies. Many of you should already be aware of this controller beast as he scored a cool million dollars in the Fortnite World Cup. He did this by getting second place in the World Cup duo finals with his partner Rojo. The sweet score also puts him at the best placing controller player in the World Cup, a massive feat. According to this tournament, arguably the largest tournament in all of esports, Wolfies is the best controller player in the world. People have used Booga's solo World Cup results as proof that he's the best player in the world, so by that logic, Wolfies ranks among, if not the top controller player. Let's put his achievements into better context. Taking a look at the top Fortnite earners, Wolfies ranks number 8 globally. When controller gods come to mind, who do you think of? Nick Merckx, Aiden? These legends are commonly hyped up as some of the best gamers on the sticks, yet their earnings are only a shadow of what Wolfies has accomplished. Nick and Aiden have a combined earnings of just shy of $300,000, while Wolfies has almost four times as much. It's crazy when you think about it like that, right? Looking past the World Cup and into the trio era, Wolfies is finding his groove, with consistent top 50 and 100 placements. Keep in mind that the European region is widely regarded as one of the most competitive regions, so consistent placements like this doesn't come easy. Generally, the controller player on a team plays a very important fragger role, which Wolfies excels at. I'd relate him to the EU controller legend Ghost Issa, who has definitely garnered global interest within the Fortnite community. Ghost Issa also qualified for the World Cup Finals, but simply couldn't produce the same jaw-dropping results that Wolfies made look easy. If you're looking for a low-key controller player that has proven results in the main stage, then you can rest assured that Wolfies fits this spot perfectly. Now it's time to fly all the way across the globe, finally landing at the NA West region for number 4, where Scented snags the spot. Scented is a professional Fortnite player signed under Team Liquid's banner. He's one of the new recruits to the NA Fortnite scene, having been signed in April alongside his teammates Riversan and Fiber. Although Scented didn't qualify for the World Cup, which was perceived as a huge upset within the region, he is still making huge waves. If you keep up with the Western competitive scene, you already know what I'm talking about, but I assume most of you don't, so let me break down to you guys just how much of a beast he is. The trio's playlist has allowed Scented to show his true colors. Look at all these stats, y'all! The aggressive powerhouse trio that is Scented, Edgy, and Rex have consistently torn up their region, getting first place in 4 out of the last 5 events. Think about it guys, how many people consistently dominate to this extent? The only team I can even think of that's relatively close to these placements is Benji Fishy, Mitro, and Mongrel, and even then, they haven't taken down all first place spots across the board. This is almost unprecedented form of wreckage that will surely go down in history. You guys just don't know it yet. Well, maybe now you do, since he's on this list, ha! Huh? Jumping over to number 3 on this list, we've got none other than Aqua, a pro player playing for Team Cooler. This bombshell player has exploded onto the professional European scene. See what I did there? Jokes aside, most of you guys didn't even know who this guy was until the World Cup Finals. To be honest, I didn't even know who this guy was, he was just that unknown. But he made sure that I remember the name Aqua after a Cinderella-like comeback during the Fortnite World Cup duo event. 
After the first three games, Aqua and Nyrox were clocking in mediocre scores, nothing special at all. But after two wins and some clutch kills in the final three games, they overtook the first place team at the last possible second and took home the title. Talk about clutch, right? That's not where the story ends though. As previously mentioned, trios is the new game mode of choice for Epic Games. With that said, Aqua hasn't let up just yet. Every Fortnite Championship series in EU has seen Aqua among the top 10. This past week, he even scored a number one finish with Tashinkin and Stompy. To keep it as concise as possible, this dude's a beast. Aqua definitely has the best overall stat line and career earnings on this list. You gotta think, when someone's made over $1.5 million by playing a video game, you know he's got the goods. The problem is that people just haven't given him the same notoriety and respect that the perceived legends such as Tifu gets. He's making a name for himself in the scene, and at this point, he's still vastly underrated compared to his true prowess. Comparing his skills and achievements to what people are currently giving him credit for, I feel as though a third place spot on this list is more than fair. Working our way to the top of the list, we have one final pit stop at number two. This spot goes to none other than King, the Argentinian prodigy. Guys, if you don't know who King is, you're in for a good story here. King was most definitely an underdog coming into 2019, as South American players are commonly swept under the rug by Fortnite's entire community. It's like when you lose your little brother at Walmart and everybody forgot he existed for a few minutes. Okay, maybe that just happened to me, but that's sort of what South America as a whole has had to deal with for quite some time. But King? King has some real potential to put the forgotten continent on the map. In the Fortnite World Cup Solo Finals, this 13-year-old boy used a seemingly unhealthy level of aggression to absolutely mop the map. Using this aggressive fighting strategy, he was able to eliminate fan favorites such as Tifu and many more. He ends up in fifth place, marking his name and region in the history books. Oh, and also a little check for $900,000. Who am I kidding? That's absolutely huge! Insane money, especially considering his age. Guys, he's 13 years old and probably just made more than his parents combined. Wow. I think that alone nets him a high spot in our list, but if that isn't enough proof to show that he belongs among greats in this list, take a look at this heartwarming clip with his father right after the tournament concluded. King would later describe his reasoning for pursuing Fortnite professionally was in part to help his parents' financial situation. The reality is, guys, most people in Argentina and the surrounding countries live under the poverty line, so this tournament was even more life-changing for him than almost anyone else on the stage, and he still clutched up. Imagine the nerves on that boy and still netting a top 5 score on the main stage representing your underrated region as an underrated player. Insane. Finally, guys, we have made it to the top of our list. If you've made it this far, why not go down in the comments and predict who you think number 1 will be? I'll give you a few seconds. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. Okay, here we go. Coming in at number one, the most underrated player goes to Bucky FPS. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me right. Out of all the players on our list, Bucky stands above the rest, and for good reason too. This competition beast started emerging into the pro scene, you guessed it, during the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers. He got a decent amount of eyes when his own father coached him through the qualifier stages, which was good for a spot in the solo finals, and a crisp 50 grand. 19 people on Go, Logan, let's go! That's just the beginning though, because although he had a strong run up to the World Cup, Bucky still finds himself crushing online tournament play. He recently linked up with Aspect and Animal, two players that would certainly show up on this list if they were less popular. And let me tell you this guys, they're putting in big work over in the NA East region. In the first week of FCS, 9th place, in FCS week 2, 3rd place, and another cheeky 1st place finish for FCS week 3. These guys are monsters, let me tell you. NA East is commonly regarded as the hardest region to stay consistent in, as opposed to say NA West and Brazil. The fact that Bucky and company are doing this with ease really speaks volumes as to just how good they really are. With Bucky's recent signing to Team Envy, he surely will have more tools to get his name out there and gain broader recognition from the community. Until then, he is more than welcome to sit on the throne of our list here in this video. So there you have it, our top 5 underrated players list. Let us know down in the comment section whether you agree, disagree, love, or hate this list. Of course, everyone is going to have a different perception of what it means to be underrated, but we feel confident that these players will continue to surprise everyone as they rise the ranks in competitive Fortnite. As always, it's your boy Dan, and I'll see you in the next one.